you have love sometimes for a person or a being because of a quality they have inside them. So you know like there are certain young boys who love following a team and they have love for this football team, they follow it, they follow their games, their matches and so on. Why? Because they've got a quality inside them, they've got skills in, you know, in them. This quality, the, the quality of actually, you know, being able to kick, kick a ball, mashallah, what a quality, you know. Just to kick a ball, just to basically, you know, be able to uh, tackle someone, be able to show some kind of skill on the ground. You know, these boys sometimes go mad with, with following this team. Sometimes I don't get it. Brothers, don't spoil your mood just because you follow the team and the team lost. Then because the team's all crying, then you feel it's love, isn't it? At the end of the day, because they're crying, they're in Italy. They're called AC Milan. Or they're called, in Spain, called Barcelona. Or they're in some other country and you've never met them. Isn't it true? Never probably going to see them. They're all only seeing them on TV or on their, on their devices. And they follow them because they've seen the skill inside them. There's no other connection. AC Milan has never come and given them and done them a favor. They've done no favor to you, but you only like them because they've got a skill inside them. And you, you like the skills with whichever, whichever football team it is. You like the skills inside them. Your heart gets inclined towards them. This is the human being Allah has, Allah has created us like this. Any person who you look up to and they've got some skill inside them or some, something of value, some quality inside them. It doesn't have to be skill like football. It can be any value inside them. You follow them like people, people go uh, crazy for celebrities. Why? Because it's that quality, the quality of singing. But you can see what the heart does. The heart, once it's got love for someone, it will be driven towards, towards them. But I want to say to you a couple of words about this, this crazy football thing that you guys, some of you guys got, got going on. Yeah? If you follow any one team, then I feel sorry for you. Seriously. Because every time they lose, you have a bad day. And I don't understand why you're having a bad day. Brother, you're in the middle of London. You're never going to meet them, you've got no connection with them. They're crying over there, you know, they've lost their millions or whatever it is there. What have you lost? You've lost nothing. That's why I say to you, please, if you're going to follow football, follow football, don't follow, don't follow a football team. Don't follow a football team. Don't, don't support a football team. Psychologically, it's bad for you because the chances of you winning is going to be very low. If there's 32 teams playing for a cup, 31 have to lose and only one's going to win. Am I right or wrong? So there's 31 bunch of losers there, man. 31 bunch of crazy people out there. You know, the chances of you winning is going to be one out of 32. Allahu Akbar. And you still want to carry on making your life miserable every time they lose.